considerations on the front end were that the blood lead levels in our children could be elevated because of the possible contaminations. Joe Kochman says he's been living with this fear for many years. He lives near the old Colorado smelter site in the Eilers neighborhood, where lead and other toxins threaten the neighborhood. We in the neighborhood have had to live in limbo trying to figure out what's going on. To clean up the Superfund site. It's been a painful process to get here. But now that we're at this point, there's no doubt that we are being taken care of, that our voices have been heard. Kochman says the EPA has bumped up its timeline and is now recommending a cleanup plan to start next year. We will see actions within the next year of 2018 where they will be in the neighborhood cleaning up the yards and that will have such a positive impact on our neighborhood. It's a project Kochman says will take five years or less and could cost up to $44 million. It has provided a cleanup level that we are certain that we will be in a safe, healthy environment. For neighbor Ray Krasabek, he doesn't have a problem with the lead. Yeah, that's been a vitamin for people because everybody in this neighborhood that lived to be uh, old age, I don't care what they do. If they want to spend money, I think they're just wasting a bunch of money myself. It hasn't affected me at all. There may be different opinions about the Superfund site, but either way, Kochman says it's a big deal for Pueblo to have millions of dollars of federal money coming to the city. We in the neighborhood are just excited that, that we're seeing some action done, you know, being taken so that we can have a positive outlook on things now. Watching out for you in Pueblo, Katie Blaze, News 5.